Welcome to AS and A level chemistry. Our topic for today is infrared spectroscopy. Now infrared spectroscopy or IR spectroscopy, it allows you to detect unknown organic compounds. So for example, you are in a laboratory and you have a sample of an organic compound, but you don't know what it actually is. So what will you do? You will perform some tests on it, right? Now infrared spectroscopy is one way to actually know what are the bonds in that unknown organic compound. So you can actually come very close to deciphering what that compound actually is. Now the limitation of infrared spectroscopy is that in most cases you can't, you can't deduce the exact molecule you are testing, but you can definitely deduce the bonds that are present in that molecule and hence come very close to deciphering what the molecule is. Now this is a very easy topic. Uh, there are questions of like five to six marks in every paper regarding infrared spectroscopy and you can think of getting those five to six marks for free because this is something you can't go wrong with like uh, it's so easy. So let's move further and you'll see how easy it is to to decipher an infrared spectrum. Now before we uh, decipher an actual spectrum, it's important for us to know what's happening in infrared spectroscopy. So let's say we have a sample of an organic compound, unknown organic compound, and there are several different, uh, like let's, this is the, this is liquid, let's say this is an organic liquid. So, and there are several different bonds inside. Now there can be CH bonds, there can be CC bonds, carbon-carbon double bonds, carbon-oxygen double bonds, carbon-oxygen single bonds, ox OH bonds, and so on. So there can be so many different types of bonds as you can see in this, in this organic compound. Now what happens is that every different bond absorbs a different wavelength of infrared radiation. I was, I'm sorry for that, but every different bond absorbs a different wavelength of infrared radiation and absorbing that particular wavelength, the bond stretches, bends or twists very strongly. So the frequency absorbed is called the res resonance frequency. You, you will study this in physics if you're taking it uh, in your A2 level. But for now, what is important uh, to know, uh, or what is important for you to know is that this is called the resonance frequency, the frequency that is absorbed. So if some infrared is, is being absorbed over here, that means, let's say we have an infrared emitter over here and it's emitting different wavelengths of infrared radiation, then we, uh, and we have a detector over here. So this is the emitter, let's label it E. And this is the detector, let's label it D. So obviously if some wavelengths are being absorbed by the bonds which are present in the compound, then those wavelengths are not reaching the detector. So the detector is de detecting some particular wavelengths. And, uh, and by this method, we can actually deduce by knowing what, what all frequencies are absorbed we can deduce the type of bond present in the molecule because uh, every different bond is absorbing a different frequency and in your data booklet you have ranges for all the frequencies absorbed by different bonds so if you know the frequency that is absorbed you will know the you will know the bond present in the molecule so that's how you can deduce the bond present in the molecule now let's move on to what an infrared spectrum looks like so on your y axis you have something called the transmittance uh, I'll explain to you what transmittance is in a bit, but before that, let's see the x-axis. Now, this is something called wave number. Now, as you can see, the unit of wave number is centimeter to the power of minus one, and wave number is nothing but one over wavelength. One over wavelength is called your wave number. So, this axis is the wave numbers, and uh, this uh, this shows decreasing wavelength as we go from Left, uh, as we go towards the left and because as the wavelength will decrease the wave number will increase so you can see increasing wave number but decreasing wavelength so uh, so this wavelength is actually the wavelength that is absorbed by the compound so as you can see there is a peak over here there is a peak here there is a very big peak over here and there is a peak over here so these uh, the wavelengths that correspond to these wave numbers are the wavelengths that have been absorbed so looking at the spectrum we can 
looking at the spectrum we can say that um, we can we can we can see what type of bonds we have in the